Hey everybody, and welcome back. So glad you could make it again to another video. And today, we're gonna have some fun and make one of our family's favorite recipes. Hello family and friends, I'm Susan, and welcome to my home. Hey everybody, it's Susan. I've been doing a lot of Sunday reset cleaning, but I've also got a good Sunday supper going on. Um, one of our family favorites, it's chicken pot pie. My homemade version with my biscuit crust. I'll teach you some tips and tricks. So show you how I do a chicken pot pie. Easy, simple, and so good. Oh, wow. Good and warm for a cool night. So, my ponytail's been up. Let's get to cooking. To start off with, we are going to set our oven to 350 degrees and let it start heating up. And then we're going to put together all of our chicken and all the rest of the items, which I'll go ahead and show you the handwritten recipe that I've had for years now. Uh, six chicken tenders or three chicken breasts, which I had one chicken breast and four chicken tenders. Um, a can of veg oil, which is mixed vegetables. A can of cream of chicken soup. A fourth a cup of onions that are sauteed. They're doing that right now. Um, a half a can of chicken broth, which you hold off. That's going to be at the very end. You can add mushrooms or peas. My husband doesn't care for either, so we don't add them. And then we're just gonna mix everything together with my fried chicken spice. Y'all know this stuff's good. This stuff is really good in uh, chicken pot pie. So let's go ahead and get everything mixing together. Go ahead and get everything into the baking dish. I'm gonna go ahead and add the sauteed onions. You just want them to saute a little bit because it gives them a sweeter taste. Not that you wanna cook them, just sweeter. This is the chicken that I have cooked and cut up into portions, and I'm going to go ahead and pour them in the dish. Mixed vegetables are going in the container. All right. Cream of chicken soup is also going in. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. Now, I'm also going to put some water in this can and then add that to it until I can see that it makes this a little bit more soupier, I would call it. Okay, I want to get a little bit more moisture because this is all the moisture you're going to have in this, is right here, because the chicken is already cooked. Don't need to put it in raw. And I want to make sure that I've got plenty of juice in this. All right, that looks pretty good. See, it's kind of pull, pooling up with juice right there. That looks pretty good. I've still got a little bit in the can. And then, of course, my fried chicken spice that I make. Let me go ahead and get some of this in there. And this just makes it awesome. Now, I'm going to mix in the fried chicken spice. I'm smelling the spices. I'm going to add just a little bit more. I mean, this is probably a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half, maybe. It isn't a lot, but that grinder doesn't put a lot in it at one time. Okay, so we've got everything mixed in here. As you can see, there is juice all around. It's not overly juicy, but there's a little bit. Now, the next step we are going to do is make our topping for the top of the chicken pot pie. We're basically going to do just about a biscuit recipe, or my biscuit recipe that is, for this. I'm not going to add in the shortening because it really doesn't need to, because you're not going to per se eat the biscuit by itself. Here is one cup of self-rising flour. And I need half a stick of salted butter. Okay, make sure that your butter is soft. Leave it out for a little bit to where it softens up. If it doesn't, you can always put it in the microwave for five or 10 seconds and it'll help soften it up. Now, we are going to be putting the butter into the flour. 
and we're basically doing half of my biscuit recipe to some degree because we don't need a whole big old thing. I've tried it with all the biscuit recipe. It was just too much biscuit on top. This seems to be the right amount and the right ratio. And I am using a pastry cutter to get this done. Now, once you see that your butter looks like little peas inside the flour, then you know you got it to the right consistency. Mine's if you'd like to see my biscuit recipe, I do have a video on that. I can link it below. I've also got a recipe for the fried chicken spice because it is good on everything. It is awesome. Okay, see how some of those look like little peas in there? That's what you're wanting. Now, the next item that we're wanting to get in there is a third of a cup of milk. which I'm just gonna pour it in, and then I'm gonna use a fork to blend the flour. And you'll see it cut, the dough come together pretty quick. And this is how it looks whenever I make my biscuits. And I am going to roll it out onto a plastic uh, cutting board, which is what I like to use. And if anybody happens to find any of these clear or opaque cutting boards, let me know. Um, the plastic ones, they're real thin. I love them, can't seem to find them. I do have a black one, I don't like using it as good. There's something about the wider opaque, y'all know I'm kind of picky like that. So, if you see one, comment. Let me know where you see it, because I need more. Okay. And you just basically get the dough and you kind of pinch it together and roll it and it'll turn into a ball like that. I'm going to put it on my floured sheet and I'm basically going to kind of roll it out, which I need a little flour on my fingers because they're sticking. I'm going to use my hands to pat it out to about the size of the dish that I'm going to be putting it in. Now you could pinch it off into the dish if you wanted to. There's a couple different ways you could do that. I just like to pat it out and then put it over into the dish. What's up? Let's see if I can get you to see how I do this. I'm going to lift this up and then put it over into the dish. Hopefully it doesn't fall apart and it didn't. Look at that. Okay, and look how good that looks. It pretty well covered every bit of it. All the juices and stuff can come up around the edges, but there is a secret to this. <clears throat> I need to put about half a cup of chicken broth on the very top. Don't ask me why. It just makes it so juicy. It just made a difference. I, I learned this one year whenever I was making this, and I couldn't get the biscuits up top to be juicy enough. It just didn't seem to work. And I added half a cup of chicken broth. So what I've got is just half a cup of water and I'm gonna add some of the chicken bouillon into it. Um, one cup is one teaspoon. I only need half a teaspoon in that half a cup of water. And of course, like I said, this is just chicken bouillon. Okay, here we go. Half a teaspoon. But it doesn't matter if the water's hot or not, it's going to absorb into the water pretty good because this is, you know, powder to begin with. See? Now, I'm going to pour this on the top, just all over the top of it. And it's going to go down, but it's also going to float up. And yes, you're going to have some on the top, which is fine because that bread is going to bake up through that juice. Kind of like my peach cobbler bakes up through the juice from the peach cobbler. And it will make it so juicy and tender. So, we've got to wait to the oven to heat up. It's actually at 350, so it's time to put the chicken pie into the oven. We are going to bake it for 30 minutes, and we'll see where we're at. Hey everybody, and while we're waiting on that chicken pie, 
to cook up. I thought that we could talk for just a second. Um, if you, this is your first time watching my video, my name is Susan, and I do cooking, cleaning, organization, um, all kinds of grocery hauls, um, clothing hauls, um, and weekly menu plans. So, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, please take a few minutes and watch some of my other videos. For those of you who have been watching every time I put out, thank you so much. Um, I do appreciate all of my subscribers and my regular viewers. I do know that about 90% of my viewers are not subscribed. So I would love it if you have not subscribed for you to please take just a moment and subscribe. That way you can be notified whenever I put another video up and you can always ring that bell so they'll give you even more of a notification. I put videos up every Friday which is a main menu item. Uh, every Sunday is usually organization or cleaning or a haul of some sort. And then now I've started on Tuesday evenings putting up a what's for dinner. Uh, four dinner menu items from the previous week that you can look at and if you like it, print off the recipes and maybe apply them to your meal plan for the next week. We would love if you would become a part of our channel's family also. Now, let's get back to this bacon in the oven. It's smelling good already. Okay, I wound up cooking this for about 35 minutes. I got some butter and put over the top of it and then put it on broil for just a few minutes to get the top brown. So now it is ready to eat. I'm gonna let it cool just a little bit because it is way hot and it'll come out easier when it's cooler. So we're going to give it about five minutes to cool off, and then we'll dip it out. It's been five minutes, and somebody is smelling some chicken pot pie. And he's going to wag his tail, ain't you? Yes, big bud. He is wanting a bite, and you know he can't have none. So let's go ahead and get this dipped out. And it is still really, really, really hot. Go ahead and get Daddy a big serving because I know he is hungry. Look how juicy it is underneath. Are you seeing this, how juicy that is underneath that crust? Oh, my goodness. Go ahead and get this. All right. Now, the trick for me is to add just a dab more. Of the fried chicken spice after you get it plated just a quick little run through like that that gives it a lot of good seasoning and it's hot and it looks so good look at that okay let me give this to danny and then i'll get me some and see if i can taste it okay and here's my plate i'm gonna try to get a bite of it it is so hot though can you see the steam coming off of that it's hot danny be careful I'm trying to get on my darn fork. Okay, let's try a bite. Mmm. So good. Mm-mm-mm. The only thing I probably should have done is um, tore the chicken apart a little more because it's in big bites, but whenever you make it, you do you. I think it would be better if I would have shredded the chicken just a little bit. But it's so good. The crust on top is crispy and a little bit chewy and buttery. So here you go. Chicken pot pie. That's what's for dinner tonight. I hope you enjoyed today's video. The chicken pot pie. Homemade. Easy. Just a few steps, get it in the oven, let it cook, let it smell up your whole house, and it will smell so divine. And, oh, the top is so buttery soft. Oh, please take a second to subscribe if you haven't already. We would love for you to join our channel's family. And, until next time, see you next week.
Please like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram or Pinterest, and ring that bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos.